Hi, this is USA Today's Will Keck, and Halloween's come a bit early this year. We're going to meet Rob Zombie, who's directed the all-new Halloween film. On August 31st, Mr. Rob Zombie is going to show us the beginning of Michael Myers, the genesis of what turned him into the psychopathic killer. Yes. Is there a, something you can relate to in terms of a young boy who was tortured, felt like an outsider, felt different from other kids? Everything in the movie with young Michael Myers, I mean, is drawn from, unfortunately, from different experiences that I've had. I'm sure a lot of people have had. And that's why the scenes with young Michael being tortured by other kids in school, and it may seem harsh, the things they're saying, but the, that's what it's like. What's the, you know, the I, most horrifying thing you've ever seen in your life? Uh, I've seen a bunch of stuff that was pretty good. Um, I think the first horrible thing I remember seeing as a kid is we were working at, at this carnival. My parents used to work at these carnivals when I was a kid. I was standing there talking to this one guy I knew who worked like, you know, ran the tilt world or something. And a guy ran up and hit him in the head with a hammer, the back of a hammer, and pulled, you know, knocked his head wide open. And it was just like, <laughs> exploded with blood. He just like dropped. The sick part about it is it didn't really bother me that much. So here's the guy. This yeah. is him. This is the real mask that we used in the movie, yeah. Very similar to the original Michael Myers look. And I wanted it to be, a to you know, is make it as exact as you can to the first movie. How did you choose the actor that would fill the mask? I always knew who I wanted. I always wanted Tyler Maine, who was played Rufus in The Devil's Rejects. I always knew he'd be perfect. Well, I heard he's, he's actually six foot four. It's uh, pretty... No, he's much bigger than that. Six foot eight. Could this be a franchise? Are you, are you talking about doing another in a series? I'm not talking about it. I mean, I wanted to do the one film with a beginning, a middle, and an end, and then be done with it. What about you? Would you do another one? Uh, I have signed on for another one because I was under the belief that Rob was doing another one. Oh. So we <laughs> <laughs> Well, how do you feel about that? I just learned that as well. How do you feel about Rob maybe not, uh, definitely not doing a second one? Well, uh, you know, it... it Changes a few things. <laughs> <laughs> Changes quite a few things. If you were to play the role one more time, what would you like to see happen? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. No, come on, tell me. Just tell, tell me something. Like if to I told you, I'd have to kill you. No, come on, just give me something. I said, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. And I'm good at doing it.